We're ready. Here we are. I'm Carl from Bushwood. I'm Corey from Bushwood. Hey, we hope, got this right. Hopefully everybody had a nice uh, Labor Day weekend. I know uh, Carl is still enjoying his as we film. Yeah, yeah. We, this has been a, this is, the weather's been perfect for a Labor Day week. You know, we didn't get any rain. It's looking good tomorrow. How was this? How was the, uh, how was the lake? Lake was a little on the breezy side, but it was very comfortable. We still have got three hours in on the water. And it did, any, was, did any wake boats swamp you? It won. <laughs> I was swearing like a son of a bitch. Yeah. I pardon my French, but you, you know me and the wake boats. But there was one out there that got us. Anyway, so we'll move on to a more positive thing. All right. Let's see. Brewers are looking good. Won, uh, won the series. Uh, they're... 10 games up. Uh, I think they're 23 games over 500. Looking pretty strong. They're look. They're looking to get a second, the, the first or second place um, finish, which would give them a bye. So they're they're like a game out of the the that position. But if a push gets to shove. I think they're going to make the playoffs without a doubt. I would hope so. So only a month of month of season left, so I sure as hope they could pull get that together. Yeah. So we got a few things to talk about, and then we're gonna save the Packers for last. All right. right. Okay. okay. So we got uh Lakeland Hawks fundraiser, Torpy Park, three to seven next Saturday. So Lakeland Hawks, that's the little kids hockey. Yeah, uh, in the area. I was a Lakeland Hawk and were you really yeah, in 19, You're a hockey player in nineteen eighty three. Well, I was lucky to get through the ice on figure skates. <laughs> Alex, Alex Danielson has scored more goals in one game than I've scored in entire seasons, but uh, I was out there playing. Well, that's as long as you were out there doing your thing. That's the <laughs> most important thing. To the game. Getting out of this hick town. Thank God there is still a sport for middle-sized white boys. Amen. <laughs> yep. So, what's next? We got, what's this? The other event, Dirty Squirrel Gravel Grind, is a bike race out at Winter Park. Winter Park is the uh, obviously they must have uh, double up as uh, as uh, bike trails, hiking trails too, but it's the cross country ski. Oh, really? It's a well renowned on 70 West, out by Squirrel Lake, well renowned okay. uh, cross country ski place. But there is a bike race this weekend. Registration begins. They open at seven. Registration begins at 7:30. That's where they always have, they always talk about Winter Park, you yeah. know, where they have the skiing and the cross country and all, that, and all that stuff. I hear it's a pretty nice joint. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been there yet, but yep. uh, maybe I should start doing cross country or something that's more. I, when physical. I think of cross country skiing, I think of that's something Carl should do. Yeah, that's okay. something Carl I, should try. It sounds it's it's like a perfect fit. You're such a bullshitter. <laughs> Hey, speaking, of, speaking of bullshit, let's go to Jason and uh, see what he's got for us this week. Okay. Out on the dock shop weather deck. Yeah, he's on that weather deck talking about all our weather. This has been, a, the second half of the summer has been that bad. Yeah. Gotta say. Take it away. Okay, go Jay. Hey everyone, here we are back on the weather deck brought to you by Dock Shop. And then you're thinking, yeah, it is the end of the season or the end of the season as far as boating is in the near future, but you need an upgrade for your dock, you put in a new one next year, go talk to them now. Get on the, on the list for next spring. JDS Construction, general contracting, remodels, decks, interior, exterior paint, drywall, all that kind of good stuff. Cool weather. I mean, look at this. One of the greatest times of the year, September, early October. Um, low 60s coming up this coming weekend. Some of the highs may even be in the 50s. Lows, low 40s and upper 30s, just perfect. Nicest climate. Um, and it triggers some fall fish movement. You will see some muskies start to move shallow during this time. Great time for some top water. Um, river walleyes will start to move. Might be down on the wolf this coming weekend, hopefully. And then heading over to some of the harbors out on Lake Michigan to chase some salmon. A little bit on the on the early side of that, but we have talked to people that have said that they're starting to see some fish up in the harbors already. Early goose season just started. Um, a lot of birds around this year. Um, and then your upland uh, bird will be starting here shortly along with archery deer. Just a lot going on right now. And I wanna thank everybody for tuning into the uh, Bad Fish Radio 
podcast that we have going again. I've got like 70 episodes. You can get back ones as well from all kinds of musky walleye guides, hunting, Montana, Wisconsin, all kinds of stuff. Um, I'll be having a few more after some of the National Walleye Tour guys get done when they wrap up over on Lake Huron this week. And that's a wrap. Let's send it back to Carl and Coy and just look at this. I mean, perfect. Let's see. What do we got next? Also, Saturday morning is the Wild Rice Festival over in Lac de Flambeau. All the normal festivities that go with all of these things. But one thing that's intriguing is uh, wild rice is actually a process. You know, mm -hmm. you don't just right. pick it and eat it. There's a whole roasting thing, whatever. They do demonstrations and whatever the festival oh, really? are revolving around. Uh, that would be rice. very interesting. Saturday, Lac de Flambeau, 9 o'clock. I know one lake nice. where I used to fish, I won't give any, uh, but there was a whole shoreline full of wild rice. It wasn't happened to be wild rice lake, would it? No. Actually, it was <laughs> sweet. <laughs> okay. They used to get that lake prepared for... to get out of you. President Eisenhower used to come up here. This is one of his favorite areas. And sweet lake was something that was kind of babysat by the DNR for President Eisenhower. They stocked it and did everything, you know, and it's just was a special little place. And he liked this area in general. I mean, he was a well big fan of the Manaqua and surrounding area. Yeah. So just a little history I, that I learned along the way. All right. We're early. We're early September, but it's already Oktoberfest time. For who uh -huh. We've been serving Oktoberfest. We just look forward to Sam Adams Oktoberfest coming out early August. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, Oktoberfest in Mercer at, uh, we mentioned this place before, the Pines as a beautiful outdoor place, but they also specialize in German food. So anyway, that's at Mercer starting at 2 o'clock, and then they start serving the authentic German food at 3.30. Oh, really? That'd be fun. You know, just and I'm sure they'll have some good beers there. Oh, I'm betting on that. And speaking of beer, last but not least, Aqualand Ale House Summer Music Series. Three, what do you get? Three left? Three of them left. And six to nine. So the third to last one, they're at six to nine. I don't know if we mentioned them before earlier this summer, but apparently they've been going on all summer. They've got an outstanding uh, uh, outdoor area, too. So this is the third to last one, six to nine, uh, right there on the west side of Boulder Junction, Aqualand. So, okay. Yeah. Now, you're the expert, so I'm going to let you say everything that you need to know or tell it the people that know about next week's Packer game. What are we going to do here at Bushwood? Okay, right after these messages from Danny in sports. I'm sure he'll touch on it, too. Yeah. What's that smell? Football season's here, folks. It is time, it is fall. We are ready to go for football season. I am so jacked for football season. Let's go. We have the Packers kicking off Friday night. They're playing the Philadelphia Eagles in Brazil at seven o'clock this Friday. It's on Peacock uh, app, which is something you have to stream on your TV for folks that don't know that. So if that's news to you and you don't have Peacock on your TV, Get your wheels in motion down to Bushwood this Friday. They will have it on game. I think is at 7, probably 6.37. Check that out. Um, Badger football, what else is going on? Badger football, they just squeaked by Western Michigan uh, last Friday night at Camp Randall. A little bit of a scare, cupcake game, and they snuck out of there with a 28-14 win. Then this Saturday, they play another cupcake scheduled game against South Dakota State at Camp Randall, and then Big Ten play starts after that. I believe we, we play Alabama and then USC. So the schedule is going to get tough here pretty soon for the Badgers. But uh, if you want to be the best team in the country, you got to play the best teams. So we'll see how that goes for the young squad uh, down in Madison. Brewers are playing really good baseball. They have a roughly a 10-game lead on the NL Central uh, at the taping of this. So they should have the division pretty well wrapped up if they keep their foot on the gas. And they might even wrap up the best record in the NL, which would earn them a bye going into the playoffs, which is obviously a good thing. So Brewers are playing really well. Uh, if you want to catch a game, come down to Bushwood. I know uh, Carl is there Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we got a whole uh, 
bunch of Bushwood bozos running the show the rest of the weekend, including Koi and amongst, and amongst many others. So come on down to Bushwood. It's a fun time to be a sports fan in Wisconsin. We got Packers. We got Badger football. The Brewers are playing awesome. So come on down and check out Bushwood Tavern for all uh, all the games going on. We got three big, big screen TVs um, and a lot of space for big groups parties. So if you've got a bachelor group coming up for the fall or anything like that, stop by Bushwood and have a good old time there watching sports. Other than that, let's do five random Packers. I didn't think of this beforehand, so I'm just shooting off the top of my head, which is very bald. So let's go with uh, Ryan Longwell. That's not that random, but many people know him. How about um, Nick Lucci was a fullback way back in the day. Chuck Cecil was a safety way back when. And how about one more? Let's do a defensive lineman. We will do Cletius Hunt. We'll leave you with Cletius Hunt on your Labor Day week, heading into fall, my favorite time of year. Let's kick it back to Carl and Coy. You guys have a great day. Thank you. All right, so, so the Packer game, and I've just been enlightened with something else that uh, is probably going to be common knowledge by the time this, uh, this comes out. But Packers and Eagles are playing the first game. Uh, their first game of the season on a Friday night, which is odd enough as it is. Yep. So most of the time they play the first, somebody plays Thursday night, everybody else uh, plays their game Sunday. So it's a Friday night um, in Brazil, and the latest, whether well, you knew or not too, is they're having wildfires. So it's not impossible that the game could actually be canceled because the wildfires are threatening the safety, but certainly, even if they get a handle on it, the air quality. So I don't know mm -hmm. if it's, some, I just found out of it, so I don't know if it's too late to reschedule or whatever, but it's absolutely right now a chance that it's canceled. However. If it doesn't get canceled. If it doesn't get canceled, we are going to close the kitchen. So no fish fry this Friday. We will have four screens rolling uh, with the Packer game and, and do our first of many uh, potluck uh, Packer parties. So potluck right. means you got to bring your own food. Well, everybody bring, brings a dish yeah, to pass. Yeah, bring a dish to pass. If you don't bring something, it's not like you get thrown out. But uh, yeah. we just have a nice group of people that just bring bring stuff, and uh, there's always plenty plenty well, to eat. So just uh, instead of having made to order food out of the kitchen, we just always have uh, bring something to pass. And, I got to be honest about this. I mean, you know, I've never been a fan of watching a Packer game in a bar. Because, you know, everybody's talking and you, you lose connection to the game. Maybe but we, we got four big screens here. Maybe we should have rehearsed the promo and what a well, promo means. Well, last summer, last summer, last fall and winter, I had more fun coming to this bar uh, with all the food. I mean, the food that everybody brings is fantastic. And the camaraderie is incredible. I mean... I don't, I don't know what the hell's taking me so long to get used to watching a well maybe it's just because we're here at Bushwood. I that think could that's be it. it. Let's say let's go with that. Yeah. Bushwood makes it very special. Yeah. So everybody that wants to come and watch the game, come to Bushwood next Friday at seven or before, because we'll be open well before the game starts. Bring your dish to pass or your snack to pass, whatever the hell you want to bring. Bag of potato chips, I don't care. And have some fun, because we have a good time here. It is a good time. And if not this, the schedule lays out wonderful for us this year. The first uh, eight games, I think there's a there's one there's this one, of course, and then a, a, maybe a 3.30, otherwise all noon games to start. Oh, that's which perfect. Which are always more fun. And we're always open on a Packer game. doesn't matter. Our schedule gets thrown out the window. We're open on Packer games always. Yep. And uh, we have done good fun. We have pools. We have... Uh, a lot of there's a lot of bullshit though. I mean, you got to watch out for that part. You know, there's everybody's, and then when you get the Packer Bear game, that's even more special. So come on out next Saturday, kick off the season right, and we'll have a lot of fun. I promise. All right. If not, then we'll see you soon. Thanks, Take care. Carl with a K, Coy from Bushwood. We're open every day of the week.